We watched this year as Amazon's Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power, became one of the most expensive travesties in the history of filmmaking. It was a boring show that just presented the Mary Sue strong female lead again, but this time, like, really nothing happened over the whole course of it. They had 10 episodes of just slow scrawling nothing. Uh, and <laughs> it looked pretty. The visuals were out there, but it also then just really didn't have a point to it. Uh, and it violated so much of the Lord of the Rings lore that it just left fans with a sour taste in its mouth. But fear not, my friends, because SJWs will not learn from their mistakes. They're not just going to suddenly make things good. No, they're going to double down. And the, the way they'll double down is pushing a sort of male-centric property, Lord of the Rings is, let's be honest, and turning it female. That's what they're going to, that's what they do with everything. And this is going to be another failure as season two has been announced. We'll talk about that in just a second. My name is John Delarose. I'm a number one best-selling author and award-winning comic creator. I have an alternative to you. If you are sick of SJWs in the media uh, making these adaptations and things like that, I have my brand new novel, The Demon's Eye, which is a fantasy about a man who has to overcome strong obstacles to defeat evil. It's a very simple premise. It's the hero's journey. It's something that works every single time, and it's something that modern media doesn't understand. They fail at every step of the way. We're bringing it back. This is what we're trying to do right here. Uh, it's a great novel. It's a full novel for only $3.99 digitally, direct from my website and exclusive. Uh, go check it out and uh, have a good read this weekend. Enjoy yourself, and let's, uh, let's push back against this feminist culture. All right, my name is John Delarose, and I've already said that. <laughs> Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power unveils, check it out, its first all-female slate of directors. Yay. Oh, wow. I'm stunning and brave. I'm so glad that you did not have one man in there. Uh, they always talk about proportionate representation and representation matters and all that stuff. But uh, notice they always try to not represent uh, a certain group, which is men, white people, whatever it is, uh, and try to represent everybody else to the point where it's just like, huh, this isn't what reality looks like. But whatever. Uh, here it is. Confirmed season two will be spread over eight episodes. So now they're dropping the episode count because, uh, of course, the budgets are so high on these. They cost too much. But my gosh, Amazon Studios announced the next season will feature a striking, striking, <laughs> all-female directing team. So the women are going to definitely push Rings of Power into a more female-centric show again. And it's already there. So I, I can only imagine what's going to happen. Is it going to be a knitting club uh, that the elves have at this point uh, where, they, where they talk about, like... Uh, uh, the, the the dudes that they're uh, better than and still trying to uh, sleep with at the same time. Gosh, I can only see Lord of the Rings devolving into something like that. J.R.R. Tolkien would be rolling over in his grave uh, watching what's happening here and watching how this is going to go even worse than the first season. It's unbelievable. So uh, <laughs> they're adding uh, new directors Sana Hamri and Louise Hooper, both of whom are new to the series. Brad Storm is taking over as lead director for the season uh, for Wayne Chi Yip. And uh, like him, she will direct four episodes herself this season. So here it is. The future of Rings of Power and Lord of the Rings is all female this entire time. We don't have much information beyond this. They're just talking about who these directors are for the rest of the thing. But they're not going to get into the meat of this, which is like the odd direction that this is taking. Where they're, again, trying to take a male-centric series and make it something that it's absolutely not. It's really odd. It's strange choices. But it's like I said at the beginning of the the video here, SJWs will always double down. They always want to push even further. They always dig their heels in. They always fight against the fans because they don't love the properties that they work on. They're actually trying to change it into something else, into some bastardization of what it was once before so that they can leave their mark on things. But it never works out. Whenever the changes happen, uh, those always are the things that get lost to history. Nobody cares about that. People only care about J.R.R. Tolkien's actual work. All right, leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit that like and subscribe button, my friends. We'll be back soon.